Hi everybody, uh, Ryan Anderson with Unlimited Genetics Incorporated. Um, today I just want to uh, talk about our um, Cedo Thaw unit that we sell. This does uh, 110 and 12 volt uh, compatible. It will come with actually both cords. Um, before I put the water in and get this thing ready to show you the next step, I wanted to show you um, the dial that's on the bottom. This is the way it's going to come to you in the mail. You got to take these uh, six, seven screws out. It's going to be set at 96 degrees, which is regular temperature for conventional semen. Sex semen is going to be a little bit more finicky. Embryos, um, that's for you to figure out. But I want everybody when they get theirs to check that out. Make sure it's not too hot. We don't want to hinder the semen. So that's that. And now I'm going to show you um, just some features about how this thing operates and, and um, how you need to use it. Okay, now I've uh, put distilled water in it. Please use distilled as it does not have the hard water buildup. Um, you can always leave your water in there. That's perfectly fine, but make sure you do not get it in a area where it's gonna be froze. But as you can see right here uh, on top, it says heating the red light and ready is the green light. We've, we've put our water in, it's heating. When it's, when it's ready, that green light's gonna come on and you're gonna be able to put your semen in there and use, here's your temperature card. It's gonna show you know what it is once it gets to temp, but uh, I'll show you that here in just a second. Okay, now I have put, uh, as I told you, my distilled water in. It's got to um, temp where I have it set at 96 degrees. Um, there, my green light's on. Now I just pop the lid open. We got a little card in here. It's showing it's 96. You know, you just set it down the water. It's kind of a neon color there. Kind of hard probably to see in the sunlight um then we got this tray i wanted to show you if you have a you know unit of semen you put down there you're tra having trouble getting you can just kind of pop that tray out and, and put it back down there no big deal but uh anyway so we got this my light's still on and i want to show you um just uh, how to pull a unit of semen out to put into your thaw bath at this time you need to have your semen identified on what you're going to breed to um, I, I'm sure you will. Um, once it goes from your tank, the liquid nitrogen, to your thaw, you're committed. Th there's no turning back. That semen's going to open up, mobilize, and it's not to go back in there. Um, once it's once it's unthawed, you're you, you got to go with it. Um, so anyway, I just pull a unit of semen out here. I got my little my tweezers. Um, and you grab that guy, pull that out. We're gonna go into the thaw bath. I got my my crimped end up. Always, that's always the end that you cut that you're gonna insert into the gun. We go in there, it's gonna boil a little bit. I close my lid. My light's still on. I'm gonna let this sit for somewhere around 30 seconds. You can go longer if you're mass breeding a bunch of cattle and you know, say you got a, a heifer project, um, you're bringing in you know, 30 cattle and you're breeding them all the same way, it's perfectly fine if you want to take out, um, you know, three units of semen and put in there 15 minutes or so, uh, you're going to have them cattle bred probably at that time. But let's just say we're doing one. We have our semen identified. It's going into the thaw bath. We're going to let it sit here for a second and make, make sure it's going to, um, you know, be ready to go into the gun. And uh, so now I've waited a while and my semen is thawed. Uh, my card says 96, 98, so we're perfect. We're just gonna pull that out and we're ready to go into the gun, into the cow. But uh, anyway, that's that. Uh, I appreciate everybody watching. We sell these, check out our Amazon page. Um, we sell all sorts of AI supplies. If you ever need any questions, get a hold of me, call, text 641-226-1884.